All right, okay, wait, hey, check. Wait, is it? Hey guys, so we're here today in Pembry Race Circuit. We're doing a little test in the Fiesta and in the Proton ahead of Mandela Park Irish Rallycross Round 1. We're gonna be using the Proton in the event, but we brought the Fiesta here today just to try and get a little bit of a comparison. I'll, uh, I'll take you in to the cars. It's the Fiesta we won the championship in, but GB1 is colors. We got the Proton here. Now I've raced the Proton a few times. Didn't always go to plan. We ended up not making too many laps in Strangnass. We're gonna like put that in. Three, two, one, and bang. Unfortunately, Patrick O'Donovan. Yeah. Patrick O'Donovan is to be in this heat and he is a no-show, so a DNF. Season. But Lev's keeping the great start. O'Donovan still with the issues on the line. Okay, you're back with me. We were in this a few weeks ago at the NEC in Birmingham. We did some absolute fat send. Oh, Messing around, having a bit of fun. Kevin Hansen was there, obviously my dad, a few of the other British guys, and World Rallycross commentator Al Ridge was there, uh, having a few cents. Actually, we had a really good race in the RX2Es. Oh, yeah. Proton is a slightly newer car. 13 years newer, or 12 years newer. If we can make it work, it should be good. It seems to have a lot of pace. Like when you're going down the straight when I'm pulling gears, I seem to be like going a lot quicker by the end of the straight, I feel, when I'm inside the car. It's just better handling and better power all around. This is Sam Clennell. Hello. Sam, what don't you do? Uh, fix cars. Doesn't fix cars, that's because we never break them, isn't it? That's, it, yeah. that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> but Sam's the one that's responsible for getting me onto the, getting me to get to the grid. And then once the car gets to the grid, it's out of his control. A few moments later. What's happened? The uh, wheel bearings collapsed and broke the hub. Broke the hub. So the wheel bearings collapsed, we broke the hub. Uh, it happened when I was going down the street. The fastest point of the track, that you're pulling is like, and as, as it was going like down again, oh, it started going all over the place. Um, and I thought I was going into the wall. I thought I was going to touch the grass on the outside. Then when you touch grass on the outside, obviously, it gets really slippery and the car just speeds up. And then that's when you, sorry, no, I've smudged it. What am I doing? It's a bit better. Once the car touches the grass, it just speeds up. And then you hit the wall. So as soon as I was getting in the grass, I was like, mm. that was my bum clenching. Getting a little bit worried, but it's all good. We're okay. So hopefully gonna get the car fixed. We'll be back out. Uh, we'll have a little look at this. It's, it's almost like I have to press through this bit to turn the throttle. I want the revs to increase as if it's there, but I don't want it to be really aggressive. I just want it to actually work there. I'm going to be able to go through a corner and be able to sit on that. That's a quarter of throttle push right now. I want it to be a quarter of the power delivery, you know? Should we put the seat in like the most awkward position yeah. when it gets back in?
go through in the corner and when I put the power back down it wasn't like kicking me because yep. I think I didn't realize at first but I think the kick was causing a bit of understeer as well. Okay, yeah. So today here in Pembury we're sharing the track with some Formula cars. Doing a shakedown, there's one Euro Formula 3 and there's a Formula 4 just coming past me now here. You see it? Pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. One day I'd like to try and get the chance to get out on one of those. They look really cool. I'm sure I'd be useless. Um, I've done some sim stuff in the past, the like the higher downforce. So I was struggling to get my head around it, so. <laughs> so you're telling me they're not four-wheel drive and they don't just go up, 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 up everywhere, but uh, so cool. So cool. I'll try and get one when it comes around this time. Okay, so that's Pembry test day wrapped up here, and uh, it was a pretty successful test day. We managed to find a little bit of time in, not the Fiesta, don't know why I'm pointing at that, but in the Proton over here. Poor Fiesta's a little bit broken, she's seen better days. I think it was the abuse I was giving her in the NEC is finally caught up. What you can see hanging low is our rear diff. Well, it's not really meant to be that low, so annoying, but at least it happened at the end of the day on the final few minutes we're gonna be using the car. Proton's looking pretty good, pretty impressed with the pace. Yeah, this weekend now, we're going to Mondello Park. I'll be heading over there on Friday. Sort of a home race, I guess. I mean, it depends on what I feel like when I wake up, what nationality I choose. But yeah, no, it's gonna be a great weekend. Make sure to get down there. I think you can buy tickets for Mondello Park on the Irish Rallycross Championship. So yeah, head over to the championship, get some tickets and make sure to get down there. Be a great weekend.